Hello everybody, you're welcome back to Chuck's Chats. I'm joined this time by Bernard Jackman. Bernard, the start of your fifth season in Bechtel, you looking forward to it? Yeah, absolutely. Look, we've built um, momentum the last couple of years, obviously have failed in the primary target to go back senior, but this Leinster League has been enjoyable for us um, and starts again on Saturday against Wicklow. And yeah, we're looking forward to it. We've had a hard pre-season, but um, hopefully it'll all come to fruition now on, on Saturday when we start playing. Yeah, I mean, absolutely two back-to-back -back Leinster Leagues not to be scoffed at at all, but is it difficult to go to the well once more it's all about the AIL unfortunately is it difficult to try and motivate them again Do you know what, what motivates me is when the players are motivated so we've had no um, no losses as such in terms of personnel the lads want to finish the job um, and when you have a group like that it's 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 easy rather than going around the place ringing up people and begging them to stay and play on the lads failed to let themselves down last year a little bit in the, in the semi-final and, and one another go at it so I'm, I'm delighted to be with them for that push ok better when bitter as we say down a month that's good. Have you added anybody new to the squad? Any new any new additions this year? We know Colin Jackson has, is the only one we've lost. Yeah, well, Colin's actually going to train Thursday. Colin Jackson is going to play for a couple of weeks anyway before he goes away. Um, we have some really nice young player, new players. We've got a we'll loose prop, Shane Ryan, um, who joined us from Galwegians. Uh, we've got a clatter of Munster fellas, actually. You'll be happy. Uh, Excellent. Um, who I'm looking forward to getting them into the into the bar and meeting their members. And they've been really impressed in pre-season. Uh, uh, really good trainers, really committed and talented as well. Adam Levy, obviously Ireland Sevens player, uh, one of the other Michaels guys that we already have had good fortune with in terms of on the field, off the field. So uh, no, we've we've recruited quite well, um, but we had a good squad anyway. It's just a case of um, making sure that we're able to finish the season strong. Yeah. Okay. Well, look, it's good to hear that people want to stay. Um, in terms of your backroom team, just for people who are viewing, who's who's involved in the backroom team? We know about Rats as back. Yeah. Man, he's been there forever. But who's on the coaching yeah. side? Well, look, we've got um, well management. We've got Rats and, and Ben Keely uh, and Manuel, um, who help match days, help with all the administration. Then we have uh, um, a new physio, Sarah Jane, who was with London Irish last year. Uh, we have an S and C coach who's actually in the gym at the moment, putting the lads through a, a session before before training starts at seven o'clock. Uh, and then we have the same lads we had last year: Danny Pullman, uh, Louis McGee Jr., and, and Hein Havana. And then Dan Levy's been down um, at the moment. Of got him doing one day a week with us which has been great I think different voice uh, obviously recently retired and um, yeah we're hoping that becomes two days a week three days a week but uh, he's just he's over in London today um, interviewing for a, a, a job that he wants to I mean, that would be in Ireland but he's having a job interview today so yeah it's been freshened up a little bit then we've got um, the same lads who were the seconds last year and, and the seconds obviously won the league so we're in a we're in a good, good position with back home staff thank God okay and I mean that adds in nicely too there's been a lot of, of renovation and reinvigoration within structurally but also behind the scenes all the foundations are being laid for this for this this big prize and ultimately it is all about the rugby um, in terms of, of, of the Leinster League then Wicklow up first this Saturday important to gain momentum yeah, look, we, need, we need to get off to a good start and, and that's been very respectful to them and they'll come here looking to, to get their uh, first first match in 1A away off with a, with a flyer away from home but um, we won't honour us many in this league we've got copy before, um, but yeah, I'm pretty hopeful that we can put our best foot forward and get off to a good win. Okay, okay. I know you're a well-established media personality, but there is a there, 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 there's a bit of charisma coming out of you, a, a, a kind of glow coming out of you. I've often wondered, you know, why Bechtov, with the background that you have, very strong CV, you seem to like it here. I see Sinead down a lot. Yeah, is it yeah, no, happy wife, happy life? Well, it's been a great club. Um, Sinead followed me, to be fair. I didn't follow her, which is, uh, she's probably uh, um, that's happened all her lives. I've been very lucky that she's come everywhere with me but uh, no we enjoy it here I only live down in Sydney Parade um, Dick Lawler and Emma Sheridan approached me a couple of years ago when we had that playoff to go down to stay up from 1A one, one to 1B um, and thankfully we won that with a late, late kick so uh, yeah I've been here and I want to get the club back up or sorry I want to be part of getting the club back up um, and I do enjoy it so yeah it was busy at the moment because of the World Cup but uh, Saturday there's only one game in town it's not it's not Ireland Tonga it's uh, back to Wicklow Okay. Okay. Well, look, good luck for the season, Bernard. Thanks, Thanks a million. Thanks See sure. you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. That's a wrap.